Good morning and welcome to Asia Business Report, live from Singapore with me, Marika Oi. Let's begin the program with growing tensions between the world's two biggest economies because Washington has ordered the suspension of Chinese airlines in and out of the United States from the 16th of June. The move comes as U.S. carriers United and Delta have been rejected by China's aviation authority to resume flights to the mainland. The U.S. carriers stopped flying to China when the pandemic reduced passenger demand. But Thomas Hayes of Great Hill Capital says both countries have incentives to resolve this issue quickly. I think this is going to actually get resolved. So as you said, you had United Airlines and Delta apply to restart their flights to China on June 1st, and they were rejected. So the U.S. administration basically said that if, if our, our companies are going to be rejected, then on June 16th, the China flights will be rejected moving forward. Certainly, there have been tensions between the Chinese public company listings and the demand for equal audits between uh, the COVID situation, between the Hong Kong response, and between the trade deal purchases uh, and U.S. chip companies selling technology. So there are a number of things back and forth. I mean, some would argue that this is all part of the presidential election campaign. Uh, so where do you see these tensions going before that November uh, crucial date? This is actually a constructive period for these negotiations before the election. Because uh, just as the Chinese economy is showing great signs of recovery, you're seeing oil demand at pre-pandemic levels, uh, your domestic, the domestic air travel in China is now back up to 50% of pre-pandemic levels. Uh, in an election year, it's, it's in the interest of the administration for the economy to, to continue to do well. And as you're seeing in our stock market, things are really starting to come back in the United States. All the states are slowly reopening. The economy is starting to move. So it's in both countries' interest now, coming out of such